Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker. It's a beautiful day to show you how to make a set of hugs and kisses paper art frames on the Great Maker Show and Tell. I love layered paper art. There's just something so simple yet intriguing about it, but honestly, I think I really just love how easy it is to make. It's just cut, stack, and frame, and that's it. But it always looks so amazing. I mean, look at it, it's so good. So these are my Hugs and Kisses paper art. You know, XO, XO. So the O represents the hug like this, and the X is the kiss. Mwah. Now I've always wondered why the X is a kiss and why is it like that? So it turns out the X is because people in the Middle Ages would sign their name with an X and then they would kiss the X to demonstrate their sincerity. So the X is the kiss. Makes sense, huh? To make this set of paper art with one hug and one kiss, you're gonna need about 30 sheets of 65 pound cardstock, the 12 by 12 inch size. You can use 80 or 110 pound instead if that's what you have. For these here, I've used four sheets of white cardstock and seven sheets each of red, blue, and yellow cardstock, but you get to pick the colors, of course. You're also gonna want some foam mounting tape. I recommend the half inch size. Now, if you don't have that, you could use foam dots or foam core cut into small pieces instead. The only other supply that you need are two white shadow box frames. The ones I used are 11 inches by 11 inches square. And I used a Cricut cutting machine to cut my cardstock along with the fine point blade and a green standard grip cutting mat. And that's all you need. This is a really easy project. It's great for beginners. So let me show you where to find the designs and then I will show you how to cut and assemble your hugs and kisses. Step one, get the layer design. Download the Hugs and Kisses layered paper art from my blog at jennifermaker.com 276. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries and then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the files by searching the page for Design 276 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine as well as a printable PDF. Step two, cut the layers. Let me show you how to cut the cardstock for this project on a Cricut cutting machine. If you are new to Cricut, get your Cricut set up and working the right way with my free classes at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut kickoff. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com slash SVGS. This is what my Hugs and Kisses paper art design looks like in Cricut Design Space. Now, once the designs are on your canvas, click Ungroup over in the top right. This separates the kiss from the hug and it makes it easier to work on one at a time. Next, click on the kiss layer to make it active and click on the eye in the layers panel on the right to hide it. Hiding it like this prevents the kiss layers from being made until you're ready for them. After the kiss layers are no longer in the design space window, your screen will look like this. When ready, click make it. Now the hug design contains 13 layers for the design plus one additional piece of cardstock layer for the back. Each of the 13 layers takes approximately 45 seconds to cut. The kiss design contains 10 layers for the design plus one additional piece of cardstock layer for the back. Each of the 10 layers takes approximately 45 seconds to cut as well. The file is 11 by 11 inches, which fits my standard box frame perfectly. So if for any reason your shadow box frame is smaller, you'll want to resize it to fit. And then click continue and choose your material. I'm using medium cardstock for this project. Now to show you how easy this is to do, my design elf will cut and assemble this project while I talk you through it. Place the correct color of cardstock on a green standard grip mat. If you're not sure which color to load first, check Cricut Design Space. The highlighted mat is the one that will cut next, and it won't necessarily be in the order that you expect, so be sure to check. When ready, load the mat into your machine and press the flashing button to begin. When done cutting, unload the mat, flip the mat over onto your work surface, then peel the mat away from the cardstock. Removing the cardstock like this helps avoid tearing and curling. Carefully remove the cut cardstock from the rest of the design. 
As you cut each layer of the, of the design, I found it helpful to put the finished layers in the right order and by color as they're cut. If you don't remember the order, refer to the layer order in Design Space. When you're all done with the layers for the hug design, go back to Cricut Design Space and hide the hug layers and show the kiss layers and then cut all of those layers for your kiss design as well. Step three, assemble your paper art. Once all the paper layers are cut, gather your cut cardstock, foam mounting tape, and scissors for assembly. Make sure the cut cardstock layers are placed in the correct orientation. This is especially important for when you put the kiss together. Here is how I sorted the hugs, which made and made sure that everything fit as it should. And this is what your hug layers should look like in the proper orientation. Now the kisses you're going to need to be especially careful with because it's pretty easy to add a layer that is upside down or backwards as you sort it. So be really careful and make sure it looks right before you move on to the next part of actually attaching everything together. So this layout here is correct and this is what your kiss should look like before you start putting the tape on. Now after you've properly sorted your hugs and your kisses, you are ready to apply the foam mounting tape between your layers. I found that placing the foam mounting tape at each of the four corners wasn't really necessary for this design, so when I assembled the kiss layers, I just left it out. What's most important is to make sure that the hugs and the kisses are properly supported at their interior cuts. So you're going to want to put that foam mounting tape close enough to the edge for support, but not so close that you can see it when you're looking at it head on. And as you attach each layer together, I recommend you align the bottom edges and then lay the stack on top of the new layer. You are now ready to frame your design. Open the back of your frame. Now insert the cardstock layers into the frame and don't forget to add the uncut cardstock layer at the back of your design. Once your design has been placed inside the frame, you just want to insert the back and close it all up. Step four, show it off. You are now ready to hang your beautiful piece of artwork. This is what the Hugs and Kisses layered paper art looks like when it's all assembled. Isn't this just so cool? I love the layered paper designs. Now feel free to change up the colors to suit your decor or your favorite colors or whatever. You can even use pattern cardstock or get creative with glitter or LED lights. The sky's the limit. And if you know someone who likes to sign their letters as XO, XO, it would be really fun to make them a set of four frames that they could hang on a wall, don't you think? And you can make them smaller, of course, just resize them as a group before you cut them. Now, if you have any questions about how to make layered paper designs, please let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where they also love to make layered paper art designs. We have tons of them in there. And if you need a Cricut cutting machine, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win one over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today. I am recording this on Christmas Day, so I don't actually have another tutorial planned. I'm gonna take a little time off first, but share your project ideas with me. If you can tell me what you want to make, I can show you how to make it. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.